on the bench. It's getting pretty hot in here. I might have to use my fire extinguisher with the Secretary General of the Central Organization of Trade Unions, KOTU, Francis Atwali. Before the break, SGRs, we'll talk about uh, Mukisa Kitui. Uh, the current, uh, he's currently in, in Geneva. Yes. Uh, and he's he's done a remarkable job. Absolutely. And he was a minister here before. Absolutely. And he did very well. He did a really, for really well. Yeah. Wouldn't he make a good alternative? Absolutely. He can to be a very good president if he's given opportunity. But you see in politics, you are not given that opportunity. You have got to say it and plan for it. If he plans, uh, he can be a very good leader. I'm not dismissing him. He's very brilliant. He's bright. And uh, he understands the political dynamics both locally and internationally but you're saying he has to want it yeah you have to offer yourself uh. to organize yeah. and to be into the mainstream of politics you know like now I'll tell you what uh people are repositioning this time yeah. people are repositioning people are planning people are scheming people are you know this is the time if somebody wants to be a leader of this country should be able to be seen and with his political party. Mm. But if you sit and wait to be given, that becomes very difficult in politics. Or you are on the fence and you want to wait, it can't work like okay. that. But if you are surrounding the country, yeah. mobilizing, doing what he's supposed to do, uh, he's one of the best alternatives, I okay. will tell you. Switching gears, um, I think it was Baba who said, nobody can stop reggae. Absolutely true. Reggae was stopped. No, Corona. Yes. Corona is in reggae. Huh? Corona itself is in reggae. Because Corona has not stopped the commute of Haji from working. Immediately after Corona, the report will be delivered to the handshake guys. They will look at it, get the advice from their advisors, and there will be a big rally. So you're saying, are well, we going to have a referendum this year? This year. Huh? Yeah, because I pity what Kion is trying to propose, that uh, we should have a ref referendum should be in tandem with the 2022 elections. No. Uh, BBI is meant to cure. So you cannot uh, look for a medicine when you are already down. You start earlier as you start getting symptoms of either malaria or any type of disease. Or corona. So I, or corona. So I think the time is now. Immediately after Corona, we will go full blast. Some people argue, oh, government, you can't say, where will the government get money? Government is money. Another day, the president of this republic, he pumped into economy 54.7 billion and addressed all those important sectors to keep jobs. If you ask him, where did you get that money? Mm. So the government cannot, uh, someone cannot say government will not have money to conduct the, the, the referendum uh, for the purposes of having a document that can keep, keep, can keep Kenya secure. So you're saying later this year there will be a referendum? There will be a referendum. There will be. And I'm I sure there will be a referendum. And all these parties coming together for this coalition, there's a coalition that's forming. Mm -hmm. What is the intention of that? Let me tell you, it is only uh, down south of Sahara in Africa. If you go to our northern uh, uh, brothers and go to Tunisia, go to Morocco, uh, go to Algeria, uh, go to Egypt, go to all those countries in the north, immediately after elections, political parties come together and they always move towards one direct, that one direction. That is why these countries have remained st more stable than some of our countries. Because here we have a problem. Immediately after elections, political parties remain politicking. Even those, uh, even the parties that won, it's like Jubilee. Mm. Yeah. Among itself and its leadership, they keep on squabbling, derailing themselves. And this is why you cannot have a 100 year strategic plan. Any nation that is to develop must have a an hundred year strategic plan. And it doesn't matter which government comes in after strengthening the institutions. Mm. And this is what we have been lacking in this country here. So if political parties can come together, think together, move towards one direction, and keeping their, their, their aims and objectives, why they were formed, 
then we will move towards the one direction. And let me tell you, Jeff, there is no country that can attract investments, be it both uh, or direct or indirect investments, if there is no peace in that country. That is what is happening in Asia. Go to, uh, uh, to, 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 to those Asian tigers uh, and see how they have developed. Go to South Korea, can go to Malaysia, uh, you can move to Singapore. Uh, you can, and Singapore is being led by my own sister, Halima Yako, mm. whom we have been sitting with together at the <coughs> ILO governing body. She's now the president in that particular country. Those political parties there, they help the government to move forward and implement their strategic plan. So the plan or the goal is not to impeach? No, 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 it's not to impeach. And you remember what the president said. His party or Jubilee said, his party is not interested in impeaching somebody else. Yeah. You can impeach yourself. Wow, you know, the, the deputy president is trying to impeach himself. Nobody is impeaching him. Yeah, because you can't run forward. We have still have two years ahead. Mm. And he was elected to deputize. Deputizing is deputizing and assisting advising he's the principal advisor deputy to the president not a co-president you see that is where there is a problem and i have asked several people uh do you know the vice president of the republic of tanzania no do you know the vice president of uganda no do you know the deputy prime minister of ethiopia no do you know the vice president of Djibout? <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going with this, SG. Yeah. So what, I'm trying, what no. I'm trying to tell you... No, if I was in no, Djibouti, no, no. I would know my vice president. <laughs> hey, yeah. Or in but, Ethiopia. But, but you see, I'm in Kenya. Yeah, Kenya is but, the regional power. But in power. Kenya, when you open up a newspaper, the name of the deputy president is the one on the headline. So your problem is he's outshining his boss. Not only that, he's assuming the responsibilities that are not his. Symbol. Simbo! Simbo, Jeff. So you're saying he should have just kept quiet and waited 10 years? No, he's supposed to be assigned responsibilities. He's got to sit, yeah. go keep quiet. But look, he's a hard-working guy. But you are assigned those responsibilities. You can be a hard-working, but if you are not assigned, like now you are a hard-working guy. I know you very away from... I wake from up at 4 a.m. Yes, we are within Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, correct. I came to the studio, uh, That's CNN. Right. That's right. You gave me a cup. It is still in my house. <laughs> but, but you are not outshining the CEO of, of, of the Royal Media. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the day I outshine him... Then he will go home. <laughs> uh, we will prepare everything for you to go home. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There right. must be a leader, one leader at one time. Mm. <laughs> but even today, let me tell you, Jeff, mm. I'm leading workers. They mandated me to lead for five years. We are having next election, 22nd, Wait. of second, 22nd of May next year, at Tom Boyer Labor College. Whoever is interested in my position, let him convince the affiliates of the Central Organization of Trade Unions that he can deliver, both locally and internationally. I have an office in Nakuru for my union. I have an office in Nairobi for my union. I have an office in uh, Sudan, Khartoum, for the Trade Union Federation of Eastern Africa as a president. I have an office in Accra, Ghana, where I speak for Africa. Running! I have an office in New Delhi, I coordinate Africa and Asia. Jeff, I have an office in Belgium, Brussels. I'm the vice president of the International Trade Union Confederation. Elected! 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 Where is Ahmed Nasir? Ahmed Nasir is not even a chairman of a cattle deep. <laughs> <laughs> at, at one time, he rigged himself as a LSK chairman. A lot of lawyers didn't want to hear about it. Okay, are you running next year? On demand, if they demand. No, come, come on, yeah. come on. But Go. on your recommendation, what would you like me to do? This well, is an elective position. Well, you're already advising the president, so why don't you continue? Okay. But then also we have uh, managed, you are right, if uh, we happen to go through with our BBI and, uh, and, and we have elections, in the, we have already proposed advisors 
well, for the government, maybe I and uh, my partner in this particular crime, who is David Mrade, <laughs> and minor commander, <laughs> we might be other advisors. But I wouldn't like to go to politics. I've said this. I don't like politics. I can't go to politics. You just want to be behind the scenes. Uh, are you the after, are you the kingmaker? Uh, there are kingmakers, but I would like to be a, just a supporter. But uh, and, uh, uh, and and the person who wishes that we need to have a stable country, country that you wake up and you can walk to the kiosk, have a piece of bread and come back in the house, have breakfast with your kids, and everything is peaceful, and we age in a peaceful society and we become senior elders as we are in a country that is thriving in business where people can be able or opt to do anything at will without any interference. Okay, so if you were to wave a magic wand, let's say we wave a magic wand, we fast forward to 2022, yeah. who would be your ideal candidate for this lifestyle that you just mentioned? We, you know, we sleep well, we are at peace, we're moving forward. Is it, who would be your ideal candidate? No, let me tell you, all these people can make it. You know, uh, the first term of President Uhuru Kenyatta, nobody knew he can crack the whip. Nobody knew. He, people assumed too much that since he's a polite guy and uh, he loves peace and so on, he can't make changes. You can see how effective he is. He's deadly serious on the following of the constitution of his party. Mm. And he's serious in rejuvenation of our economy after coronavirus. But, but SG, the first five years you mentioned, yeah. he was laid back. You know what happened? Sometimes you need to study the situation. That is why the Rwandese demanded that they must amend the constitution to allow Kagame to fulfill what he had promised the Rwandese people. By the way, you're the same person who said that the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, is too young to retire. Didn't you say that? No, but I said that, but you see that is up to himself. And the president has said he's not willing to continue. He has already said publicly, and we cannot force him to do that. But what I can tell you for sure and what I know, after the amendment of the constitution, if his people will bring him to fill the slots, nobody can oppose it. You remember in 1992, after the IPPG and so on, under the new constitution, mm -hmm. and after we had done away with section... 2A. Uh, 2A mm -hmm. of our constitution, mm -hmm. Moi continued for another 10 years. Yeah. Nobody stopped him. That will be a new arrangement, a new constitution. But his excellent the president has said he's a democrat. He doesn't, uh, doesn't want to dominate. After 2020, uh, after this is uh, term, yeah. uh, he intends to go home, and we cannot force him. But if he will be willing, and politics as it may be, if he decides to change his mind, and there are slots for him to fill, and nobody can say the central people should not bring him. Michuki told us that if you want to reach to Enekiku, you go through President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm. He is the spokesperson of the central Kenya people. So if they so decide, and don't underrate that and disrespect him, he has the quiet following. I grew up in Central Province myself. I know the Kikuyus very well. Mm. They don't talk on markets. You can't see them going here and there. They have their own food. You will make a lot of noise, uh, go here and there. But when the time comes, they make a decision. In two minutes' time, you'll be surprised. Mm. You'll say, is these people I knew? Am I in Central Province? <laughs> <laughs> because let me tell you, me, I was here. I firstly voted in 1969. I voted for President Kenyatta. I voted for Mwai Kibaki, was my MP for Bahati. That was 1969. I saw the, 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 the KPU, Kenya People's Union, mm -hmm. in 1966. Uh, I heard, I listened to Bildad Kagia was the vice in the KPU to, pres to, to, to Jaramogi. To Jaramogi I saw J.D. Kali. I saw all these MPs. I saw Vicky Washira. I saw Ratibu Hussein in Nairobi here. What are you telling me, my friend? Mm. So anything, you see, can happen. But the most important thing in politics, as I've told you, what Sharif Nasir told us, Siasa. Siasa. 
Nothing is po guaranteed. Yeah, politics is not definite. So you're telling me that uh, the day I outshine Washida Waruru... Just the... start parking off. <laughs> <laughs> because let me tell you what normally happens. You scare everybody. Yeah. Even if you yeah. want to join somebody, you'll yeah. say, no, no, this man is too fast. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then you remain alone. Even if you had billions and billions of money. Yeah. Yeah. Those people who are soft-spoken, those people who walk as if tomorrow they will be in hospital, uh, those people who appear weak are the people people want. And they will say, this is the right person to lead us. But if you're outspoken oh, and if you're... Uh, 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 my friend, huh? oh, nobody will think about you. Because you scare people. Hmm. Yeah? And when somebody starts talking to you, you open up. You don't want to listen even before he finishes. You have already finished. Somebody keeps quiet with what he would have told you. And you need to be humble. That's deep. That's deep, SG. Let's read some tweets. Let's read some tweets. Senator Kipro Teach Arab Charage. He was on the show last night. I with, saw uh, him. You saw him with yeah. Rafael Tuju, right? Yeah. He says, pretenders of yesteryears of liberation are now the tormentors of our time. What tangible agenda of workers has that really done? He doesn't know when I picked up labor movement. He comes from, he should go to, to Nandi T estates and ask them that before Tuoli was elected, uh, what was their salary at that particular time? How much were they earning? Today at T Plaka, if he plucks T and with overtime, he earns like a deal. Huh? Yes, let him go and ask them. They have corrugated iron sheets, houses, and they have nice houses, unlike before. Those are deep lackers who happens to follow under Kenya Plantation and Agriculture Workers Union, the union that I lead. So Leave you, alone other Kenyans. You're going to take credit and for that. And when I took over labor movement, no unionizable staff was earning more than 100,000 Kenya shillings. And now? Earning 100,000 Kenya shillings. Some 40,000 Kenya shillings, 60,000 shillings. Unionizable workers. What is he talking about? Hmm. He doesn't know, he doesn't understand that. Before I came to the trade union movement, doctors had no union. They have a union now. University lecturers and the rest have no unions. They have unions now, they have the voice that can speak. We are now fighting for our police officers to have a union. Police officers? Yeah. Civil servants have a strong union. There was no union when I took over court for civil servants. This is a kid! A kid! <laughs> <laughs> Gal Galo Bule says, the Law Society of Kenya has a president, FKF has a president, and even judiciary has a president. All are not participating in active politics. They are doing their job 100%. Why are you participating in active politics? Do you want to join politics? That is why I said, if he was listening to me, he would have not posed that question. Trade unions all over the world, they are pressure groups. They pressurize for a change. Political change, social change, and economic change. Politics. Why don't you stand for governor somewhere? Why, you know, why don't you go? <laughs> I can't be a governor. Governor is a very small job for me. <laughs> I'm number two in the world. I speak for Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so Oparanya's job is? How many governors do we have in this country? 47. How many secretary generals of court do we have in Kenya? Oh, snap. Huh? Mark Monk, ask Mr. Twally what kind of dreams he holds for Kenya. Absolutely, as what I told you earlier on, a peaceful society, Kenya, where people don't just for leadership only. Mm. A peaceful Kenya. Yeah. Olude Danku says, ask Atwali, in the event Raila and Ruto form a coalition, listen to this, uh, and gear up for 2022 succession politics, where will this be leaving him being an ardent supporter of Baba and at the same time anti-Ruto? That's what he doesn't know. <laughs> Baba is just my brother-in-law. Baba is in ODM. I'm not an ardent supporter of Baba as he's trying to imply. I would have joined the ODM a long time ago. I am Kanu, myself. 
my chairman of my party is Gideon Moy. If he doesn't know. Hmm. Yeah. My loyalty is in Jogo. So he doesn't know what he's talking about. But Raila uh, is yeah. just an, 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 an articulate uh, 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 political, it's just like a football dribbler. He knows how to play politics and uh, uh, he's a person that anybody uh, is a role model uh, to young and old Kenyans who would like to venture into leadership. Mm. He's humble, you can get him anytime if you call him. Uh, he's not restrictive, he's simple and uh, he's genuine and uh, so many people would admire to move closer to a, such a person. He's a unique person. But tell me something, can Ruto and Raila come together? In politics, anything can happen, I've told you always. Yeah. That one I agree. In politics, there is, uh, I, I told you, the, the, politics is not definite. But look, you're right, because you know, they were in the Pentagon together. Absolutely. 2005 yeah, after yeah, the yeah. referendum. You cannot rule out that proposal. Can they still come back together? Can still come back together. Can still come together and form a big... I told you if I was Ruto today, I would humble myself and look for Raila. Didn't I tell you that? You said that. Yeah, and after that, I would ask Raila to talk to President Uhuru that I want still to be in the mainstream of the movement mm. and humble myself. So they still... But you don't just thump and say, and then he should be forgiving. I told you, me, I forgive. Mm. Even those who wronged me, I forgive. I've, gi I've forgiven. I told you I've forgiven the young man. Yeah, HSR. HSR. And now I'm praying that he gets something to do for okay. us in Western Kenya. Okay. Yeah. OQ role? Something, yeah. What role has Core to play to change our political arena? Because workers play a crucial role in governance. What role has Core to play? I brought BBI. BBI is a brainchild of Kotu. You're saying you're taking... May Day on 17th, I said on May Day 2017 mm. that we need to revisit our constitution, particularly in the area of governance. And it took, it created credence. Everybody's now talking of BBI. So you're saying you're taking credit for BBI? Yeah, absolutely, I have to. Your microphone is coming off a little bit, SG, sorry. Let me just put it right back before it starts yeah. crackling. Yeah. There, you, there you go. Yeah. So you're taking credit for BBI? BBI. Okay. A team that is says, I always believe that ultimately if people are paying attention, then we get good government and good leadership. And when we get lazy as a democracy and civically start taking shortcuts, then it results in bad government and politics. Absolutely. True that. Uh, there's a Mohammed Shukri uh, you know, on, the, on the manga border. He's talking about uh, Tomboya Labor College. You're pumping money into that. What are you doing Absolutely. over there? Tell us. Currently, we have used almost 500 million Kenya shillings. We want it to be one of the world-class colleges, such as those ones you used to see in the United States of America, so that we can be an authority. You know, currently, people like Amin Nasir don't know. I'm an authority in industrial relations practice on the continent of Africa. You? Myself. And Jacqueline Mook of the Federation of Kenya Employers. And if he was listening to people like uh, Professor Haman Manyora, you know, uh, the advices they give. Manyora would say he's an authority in political analysis because he would tell you what will have to happen and what have you. Sometimes we, we listen to the, all these people and see how they are trying to, you know, to dismantle things that people can think can't be dismantled politically. When is this college going to be open? Uh, that will be after May next year. I think during our election day on 22nd of May. It's going to be a wonderful place. And you can see from workers' contributions. No loan, no bank loan, nothing. 500 million? Yeah. Goodness. Keep talking, boy says workers are stranded at the borders. They are running short of essential commodities. They are facing harassment from the neighboring countries. Speak, SG, speak as co to Secretary General. We have already written to our counterparts in those countries. We have written to Tukta in Tanzania to take up that We have written to Note in Uganda. And uh, those are the people that can look into it in accordance with uh, our agreement as uh, the Federation of the East African Trade Unions. Uh, they are part of it. In fact, the chairman of the East African Trade Union Confederation is a Ugandan. We have written to him and we are in constant touch. Okay. Uh, 
Silla Flare says, is the BBI being structured to bring back President Uhuru Kenyatta to government? I've already said the President Kenyatta has come out publicly and he has said it's not interest. But I also resolve, his politics is politics. If his party and his people uh, brought him in the main, uh, after a new constitution, he will be free to buy or to go home. That is up to himself. But as a democrat, he has said, after his tenure of office, he would go home. So you know, I don't want to contradict him. Okay, one prediction you did make that really shocked a lot of us, 2016, you said Donald Trump would win. Absolutely. Re way On this your, bench. On this very bench? Yeah. You predicted that? I predicted that. Is he going to take it again? Absolutely. Huh? Trump is being re-elected. You know we are with you in the United States of America. I don't like going back there all the time. Even <laughs> when the meetings are there, we we'll delegate somebody yes. to go there. Yes. Those people are 100% racists. They have never recognized this black skin. Mm. You know that. Yeah. If you see what is trending now, where a soldier, yes. he just puts his knees oh. to a black person and he kills while people are watch watching. Which country? You remember even during Obama's time, yes. somebody who was dragged out of his car, yes. out of his girlfriend yes. and his child, and he was gunned? Yes. Because simply you are a black person. That is U.S. The black people in the U.S. have no freedom. I'm telling you the truth. So you say Trump is coming back? Yeah. Because that is what they want. And that is what Trump supports. And it attracts those people who hate blacks. By the way, another prediction you made a while back was that uh, Governor Sonko was too flamboyant. Yeah. And he needed to cool down. Absolutely. And what, I, I, what, what's next for him? And I told you, he's going to win the elections. I predicted. But then there would be a lot of problems under his leadership. Yes. I said that. But Kenyans being what they are, they are going to re-elect him. They were electing. And even now, if he fight for his re-election, he will still win? I don't know what will happen, but with the support and what have you. Because I can tell you what, I know several people who would like him to, to win again. I'm telling you. So, you know, people have different understanding hmm. and, and, and tests. Yeah, you know? COVID. Something none of us ever predicted. Something none of us ever would have imagined. Absolutely. How has it been for you? You know, at my age, I've undergone a lot of pain as far as things related to sickness are concerned. And uh, uh, this, um, when when I read about it first, I, I saw it. I saw the pandemic uh, as another flu. I've seen past flu. I've seen the. The, the 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 emerging of several uh, such like pandemics mm -hmm. and uh, uh, when we were young we we, we had several we had uh, smallpox yeah. uh, we had uh, uh, chicken bo box, pindu, uh, pindu. box box we had kipindu uh, pindu <laughs> we had all these things yeah. but you see that is why in uh, europe uh, they would say airborne and waterborne diseases are for Africans. Uh, this time they were surprised that uh, this is a, a global disease and, uh, and uh, uh, most of the God is great, uh, the, 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 the number of deaths on the continent are still a little bit low compared to the developed world. Yeah. And uh, this is because uh, you people, you undergo uh, a lot of problems. One, uh, the type of food you eat, two, a lot of jobs you are given when you are still young, mm -hmm. smallpox, uh, measles, yeah. you are injected, you have a lot of things you undergo through. So I knew very well that uh, with God and with a lot of prayers, we will be able to overcome uh, this uh, 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 coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But most importantly also, the government did a lot of work, mm -hmm. particularly injecting the new cabinet secretary into the Minister of mm. uh, Health. Uh, this uh, young man has done a commendable job. Yeah. Uh, and he's serious uh, uh, and is candidly clear. It is himself, he's sincere, honest, and particularly specific on this corona. 
he has done a good job and i think uh, kenya has managed but uh, we should not relax because the the, the animal is still with us mm. the enemy is still with us mm. and we need to give maximum support to the government and make sure that we supplement the government's efforts to eradicate or to control uh, this virus this virus yeah. should not scare us too much because people were very much scared even me up to today about hiv and aids uh, but god helped the world god helped the researchers the rvs were introduced uh, some of us who lost our relatives during those early stages we wish uh, they live today so i think we'll have to overcome our scientists are working around the clock and we will be able to overcome coronavirus. Yeah, because and the Kenyans, as I've said, immediately after this, uh, we are hardworking people. We will be able to rebuild our economy in two to three months. We will go back to where we are. Okay. Yeah. Um, one more question before I let you go. Uh, Victor Moturi from Kibera is asking, you know, a lot of us have taken pay cuts mm -hmm. during this time of corona. Mm -hmm. Is the Secretary General, has he taken a pay cut? Absolutely. We were the first people to announce. When you? The yeah, when the president said What 80%, percentage did you give up? 60% of my salary. You? Yes. And you can still afford Brioni suits? Ah, I've got to contribute to a national calamity, which is, uh, uh, you know, Brioni suit we put on because we can afford. But in a such a situation, uh, Jeff, you can put on this very expensive attire because uh, <laughs> you, we are, you, the country is peaceful. But there are people who are literally dying. Yeah. They have no food. Yeah. They have no shelter. They have no what. They don't know where they are going to go in the evening. They don't know how tomorrow will be. Mm. If you think about them, I don't think whether you can enjoy 100% of your salary. And I've asked my colleagues, the labor leaders, to accept uh, 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 to go the way I've gone, to make sure that uh, what comes to us is contributed. And we are trying to put our check together. We will be handing it over to the national fund uh, that was created or, uh, or, 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 or which was uh, uh, announced officially yes. by the president. We don't want to do it individually or to buy food and start distributing outside uh, government a recognized mechanism. And what do you tell workers out there who are watching you, members, workers across the country who have lost their jobs during this time of corona? What do you tell them? I want to tell them that those who are unionizable will be able to secure their jobs back. Uh, the unfortunate ones are those who are not members of the trade union because those are the whims, at the whims of the employer. Though we have entered into an agreement with the Minister of Labor and the Minister of Labor will take charge. The new minister, uh, Mr. Chelugui and the PS engineer team, they took charge uh, to work with social partners, that is the Federation of Kenya Employers and KOTU, to come up with a memorandum of understanding that uh, those who don't have leave should go and leave and uh, uh, those, those who don't have leave, they should be given leave in advance. And those who had not gone on leave should be given leave. And those who didn't have it at all or whose their contracts were unknown, uh, they can go to unpaid leave. And maybe uh, after corona, they should be uh, uh, reinstated back to their respective jobs. Yeah, okay. So I think the Minister of Labor will take charge mm. and uh, KOTU is part of that. But those unionable, I think each and every affiliate of KOTU had a separate <coughs> memorandum of understanding uh, with the industry concerned to make sure that immediately after corona, yeah. uh, they will carry out uh, the, 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 the uh, a very extensive uh, surgery on mm -hmm. what happened and restore uh, those workers back to their respective places of work. And finally, SG, if William Ruto just tuned in right now and was watching you, yeah. What would you tell him? I would tell him that what he has done currently is the best way out. The good weapon sometimes is to keep quiet and leave people guessing about you. And then also he should move closer to advisors. He should not dismiss those old uh, uh, guys, those elders in Rift Valley. And also he should go out of his way to look for his old friends. Look for people like uh, Nyamwea, his former YK92 friends, colleagues, and go back and sit with them. Uh, because some of them are crying that when he became deputy president, he abandoned them. Uh, there are tears 
uh, can also give him a lot of problems in an African beliefs. So I think he should also look for them, his old friends like Cyrus Jirongo, uh, the people he used to work with, and his childhood friends to sit with them and say, um, am I doing well or am I going astray? They will be able to pray for him. They will tell him, no, you had errored, you have come back. And I can tell you what, do you know, President Uru has not lost his, any of his childhood friend. Do you know that? I know that. Yeah. You know that. Do you know that? Yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's very close to <laughs> Yeah, he's very close never, to his never childhood. Never forgets them. Yeah. And even those he went with to school, yeah. he still conducts them. Correct. I think William Ruto should learn something from President Uhuru, mm. and, uh, uh, and, and that will pave way for him. Me, my deputy at Kotu, Central Organization of Trade Union, Unions, Benson uh, Okwaro, uh, we, were, we worked together uh, at the then East African Post and Telecommunication mm. Administration, and we were young people together, we went dancing together, we are still together, mm. uh, and uh, recently I invited my friend, from Nyeri, Mr. J.D. Wambugu, whom we started working with. He was my colleague in labor movement when we were young people. So don't forget, uh, don't forget your friends. Don't forget your friends. And if William Ruto calls you, will you take his call? Absolutely. I will. I have nothing personal against him. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You do? No, I don't. You do? No, I don't. You do? I don't. <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, I, I've always been giving him a free, like the one I'm say, telling you now, yeah. is free advice and solicited advice. And I don't want any payment out of it. But let him duck the way he has done. And let him stay for some few months, people guessing. And yet he's consulting, not just like that. Mm. And he will emerge. He's a young man. I told you even if he can't get 2022, he can get it 2027. And even after 2027. What but he needs to have a smart, a smart strategic plan you know the rules of smart. Mm. Eh? Specific, measurable, appropriate, Correct. relevant, smart. and time bound. Mm. And he lives within smart formula. But if he goes the way he's going, oh, Tanga Tanga, oh, he's on the market here taking food to Angiges, you mm. that will not help him. Taking money to the church, when the time comes, the church people will say, well, let a person have. He'll go to the church. That is when you will know the world is different. Sending people on the markets to distribute money through border border, 100,000 shillings, that cannot help you. Hmm. All right, there's advice from court to Secretary General Francis Atwoli. For free. For free. Hmm. Unsolicited. Unsolicited. Good to see you, man. Fantastic. We'll see you next week or when you're coming back? I'm around now because uh, there are no flights. So we, are <laughs> <laughs> we are quarantined in this country. We can't move out or inside here. All right, I'll see you in six months. Oh, yes. In before, six, before Trump, before the elections. Before, before the elections. What do you say? I think uh, uh, I start with my country. We are now moving in the right direction. Uh, Jubilee is doing its work, and I can see today ODM also tomorrow, they are, or, or NASA rather, they are meeting, mm. and these uh, political consultations are good for our country. Uh, people want us to come together, and that's what we are supporting as workers. And then also internationally, let's see what is happening. But uh, as I've told you always, you did a very good thing to live. United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Although like someone will be standing on oh, my Absolutely. Neck. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Uh, Go to Secretary General Francis Atwoli there. In his own words, keep tweeting. My goodness, the tweets coming in so thick and so fast. Fred Obach Machoka, I, we didn't forget about oh, Kitui. We, we spoke about Kitui. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, Kisa. That's a fantastic guy, man. Oh, Fred. Yeah, he yeah. understands Rumba. Uh, that is the only man who is still living in this country that one day Kenyans will miss him. Roga, and, Roga. Uh, oh, oh, Roga, oh, Roga. Uh, uh, He's your neighbor. I, I, I know, I know. He has done very well. And uh, as a family man, yeah. as a social guy, Good guy. Uh, Kenyans, yeah, particularly young men, yeah. should be able to. Imitate. By the way, happy Madaraka Day in advance. Thank you, my brother. Well done. Thank you, my brother. You're going to be at State House? I will be there. C can, can I come? Of course, with you, you don't need a card. <laughs> <laughs> and if I happen to bump into your cousin, I will tell him, please, where is Jeff? <laughs> 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 Thanks so much for joining us. You know if it's Wednesday.
It's all about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. J K L. Right here on Citizen Television. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Good night. Good luck. God bless 